Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I want to talk about one of the more weaker links of the 94 through 04 Mustangs, and that's the axles. So not so much the axle housing, the 8.8 .8 inch that the GT and the Mach 1 come with. Uh, that's a great axle assembly. It holds a lot of power when it's built properly, but the weak link are the axle shafts themselves. And here's a picture of those. They're 28 spline, meaning the teeth that go into the differential are, there's only 28 of them. And it's a smaller diameter, as we'll get into in a minute. But uh, these are what the shafts look like. And they'll hold about 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, per se. Uh, if you're launching on drag radials, a lot of people have broken these. And so, uh, referring back to the spline count, if you look at the top, there's teeth on these. And here's a close-up look on that, and those are called splines. And so the number of splines on the stock one is 28. Now, with that said, where these splines go into the differential, as shown with these arrows here, that receiving end also has 28 splines. So if you upgrade to a bigger spline count, you need a whole different traction lock as well. And side by side, here's a difference of what this looks like, 28, 30, and 31 spline. You can see how big the 31 spline ones are. Now with my Mach 1, I decided to just go ahead and build the whole thing with a 31 spline setup and four tens, get the Moser axles and everything. So I'll put the link to that if you want to be doing that, but I'll let you know it had this part list that costs $1,000 worth of just parts. I did all the labor, and I'll show you the video. I'll put that link in the description, but there is a better, easier way if all you want is a little more strength, and that's to go to a hardened steel shaft like Alloy USA. When I first bought my Mach 1, I pulled the wheels off and found that one of the shafts was stock, and this one here on the passenger side was an Alloy USA one that had uh, obviously the previous owner had snapped an axle and he only wanted to put one new one in but he went with a hardened steel alloy USA axle. So these are very good axles. Um, I had them both in my Mach 1 at one time. My brother put them in his uh, bullet which I'm going to show you here in a minute but as far as being able to just simply pull out your axle shafts and put new ones in this is as easy as it gets and it's very, very strong for being a 28 spline setup. And I'll put a link in the description where you can pick up these Alloy USA shafts. Late model restoration has really good information on this as well, including that the 31 spline shafts are about 30% stronger. And it's also going to talk about the differences between 94 to 98 and 99 to 04 the axle length actually grew just a little bit on each side and then so it's most importantly you just need to make sure that if you have a 94 to 98 you're buying axles for that um, if you have a 99 to 04 uh, you need to get the right size for that and if your car has a different axle out of a different year that's important too just make sure that you get the right size axle for what you have now I will also mention there's an ABS ring that needs to be pressed onto these axles and the previous owner of my car had actually beat it on with a hammer so I shook it off at the track when I launched on drag radials in the Mach 1. This ring actually shook itself off and was freewheeling and making a noise and that's what led me to rebuild the whole rear end but um, that was more of an excuse to get four tens in it and a 31 spline axle but uh, anyway my brother's bullet you know it's putting down you know 440 at the wheels supercharged and he put in those uh, alloy USA axle shafts and he's had great success he's never broken an axle and that thing's done 12.1 at 115 it's easily an 11 second car that was a hot like 95 degree day down in Vegas but anyway if you want to just simply put in new axle shafts and get the strength that you want out um, if you're not doing gears or anything like that um, then it's a good way to go and I'll put my video link in the description showing how to pull these axle shafts out it's really not that hard you just need to make sure that you get the new shafts the new ABS rings to press on and just slide out the old ones slide in the new ones and then if you are interested in building the whole thing more like I did with the 31 spline setup, I'll put that link in the description as well. But uh, anyway, we've had good success with those axle shafts and just wanted to pass that along. So thanks for watching.